Hey everyone, welcome to Star Flag Media Gaming. There's a little bit of an overhaul to the channel, as you guys have noticed, um, and we are working on a new channel with a new podcast. If you guys used to join us here every Sunday, we would put in uh, the Drunken Idiots podcast, and I don't think that the podcast is going to go away completely uh but we've kind of uh started a new channel it's called sfm or it's called the echo chamber so sfm for star flag media and i'll, I'll put the uh the logo or the link right here and it's also going to be in the description of the video if you guys would want to go and check that out feel free um it's going to be a little bit uh more uh, less politically incorrect, uh, politically correct, and a little bit more, you know, just uh, our daily thoughts on what's happening uh, in the news in general and just our, our lives in general. Um, but we're going to stick this channel into a, a strictly a gaming channel and entertainment channel. So they're still going to have movies on some of the playlists that's currently there. And of course, the old podcast is still going to be there. And occasionally we'll still do one um, to to post up there. Um, but I'll still manage to do a weekly gaming podcast uh, from this channel. So stay tuned. It's not going anywhere and we're going to keep posting videos. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, today I am recording on uh, Sunday, July the 14th, and uh, I, I can't make a podcast today without commenting on what happened uh, about a day ago or a day and a half ago at this point, point. Um, and that was here in the United States, you know, major uh, thing that happened was uh, there was an assassination attempt on uh, former President uh, Donald Trump and current running for president Donald Trump. So he's the candidate for the Republican Party. Um, first and foremost, uh, you know, a, an audience member uh, passed away from uh, the shooter uh, that was taking aim at, at Trump. He also happened to get people in the audience. There were a few that were critically hurt and one who died on the scene. And, you know, that's very sad. It's very depressing that our country has gotten to this point. Um, you know, the uh, identity of the shooter has now been identified at this point uh, by a 20-year-old male named uh, Thomas Crook, who uh, was a registered Republican in his uh, state. Um, the state is a closed primary state, meaning that uh, a lot of people register with the opposing party so that they can vote in the weakest member and you know or, or vote out the member that they don't want to go head to head with in november and this is something that happens a lot in primaries uh and uh, we don't know much about him he's only ever voted one time he's very young uh, we do know that he made a small donation to a a, a leftist uh, democrat party a progressive party for you know inclusiveness and dei and things of that nature um and he clearly did not want uh donald trump we are we are probably gonna have to open up a a uh, channel for conspiracy theories i've got mine and um perhaps we'll we'll do that or we'll talk about it on the echo chamber podcast but i didn't want to go uh without mentioning uh you know that regardless of what side of the aisle you stand on, whether you're a leftist or you're you're a conservative, um, you you cannot go about eliminating your political opponents or somebody who you disagree with with this kind of violence. That that's just not the right way to do it. It's it's super depressing. It's super sad. And the only thing that you did, you came within a square inch of creating, you know, pr probably a civil war or civil turmoil. Um, but all you did was create a living martyr. Now, there is, in my opinion, no way that this guy loses the election uh, based off of what I just saw. The way he stood up like a G with his fist in the air saying, fight, repeatedly. Uh, I've never seen anything more gangster in my life. Uh, with that said, uh, you know, if you love him or hate him, that was uh, what happened in the news. And uh, let's get on to some something a little bit more lighthearted. Let's talk about some gaming news. And we're going to start off with Microsoft. Microsoft, I've got good news and I got bad news here for you Xbox fans. Uh, Microsoft snags one crown. This is good news. The good news for Microsoft this week is uh, that they are snatching another crown from nvidia so nvidia led last month uh in july but microsoft has taken its place to become the most 
uh, top performing investment fund in America. Basically, Microsoft is the most valuable company in the United States. Took its place beating Google, a uh, parent company of uh, Alphabet. Um, and now Microsoft topples NVIDIA and tussles with Apple. So, uh, yeah, Microsoft is now the leader, most valuable company in the United States of America. And uh, that's a big get for them. Uh, of course, you know, that all came from some acquisitions and, and, and things that they've been doing with Activision Blizzard, amongst many other things and investments. You know, Microsoft also invests in heavily in the military and other technologies. It's not just Xbox, but as a whole, they're they're gigantic. They're ginormous. In fact, they're the biggest now. So that's the good news. The bad news is if you are an Xbox player, uh, Game Pass has changed its policies and its price point once upon a time game pass was the best deal in gaming i mean originally when game pass came out during the xbox one you could argue that this was one of those ways where microsoft was trying to entice people to you know hey here's this console it's it's an, it's not doing it's not doing great against the PlayStation 4. It's definitely the Switch came out about halfway through its life cycle and destroyed it in sales as well. So here we've got this third place console. Uh, if you want to count the Wii U in that generation, then I guess it was in second place because it did beat the Wii U. But what didn't? Uh, and Game Pass was their way of kind of getting, you know, getting you to purchase their, uh, you know, their service you could still play some games on there and and it was a great deal and it has been a great deal um arguably all the way up to this year has definitely become a powerhouse with so many games that you can play on it especially uh the day one game pass thing and we just had a killer showcase right so what what happens now is uh well now if you are an xbox player you will have different tiers for your game pass what does that mean for you so now it's going to change some names it's going to be called xbox uh, game pass core will now be called standard and it's going to be 14.99 per month and uh, then there's going to be game pass ultimate which is now a whopping 20 dollars per month um, the standard will include Xbox Live, so that's good. I mean, you get to include Xbox Live in there. Uh, however, it does not include day one Game Pass releases. Um, and some third-party releases will not be included. And, you know, you're not only getting a price hike, you're kind of splintering the entire reason to have it if you're on Xbox. Now, if you get Game Pass Ultimate for $20 a month, now you're paying $240 a year for day one prices, day one Game Pass, uh, and day one Call of Duty. And of course, you're still getting the entire library uh, of games, which is again this is not a terrible deal if you're buying more than three or four games a year and you're paying for online uh multiplayer game pass is still worth it it really is um it's still a great deal now it's not a great deal if you just own a pc any pc you go and get yourself a pc with enough man you know eight gigabytes of ram and uh you know doesn't need a really big hard drive obviously because Xbox PC Game Pass is only going to be $11.99 per month. And what does that mean? You're still getting day one Call of Duty. You're still getting all of the same things that you would get. And guess what you don't need? You don't need a console. So <laughs> what's the point of owning an Xbox? And this goes back to what I've been saying over and over again. This next generation of Xbox coming up, this next platform is probably probably i'm gonna say at this point 75 percent i believe it's going to be the last xbox console they might sell you some digital box with the xbox brand on it they might sell you a roku stick with an xbox brand on it something along those lines uh, amazon fire tv that you just you know like a, a little digital box with the xbox brand on it however as a console i think microsoft is in its last legs they are done selling us hardware why because for 12 bucks a month if you own a pc you can have the entire xbox library day one game pass all the new releases for 11 dollars 99 
per month. It's $140 per year. And that version of Game Pass is still the best deal in gaming, bar none. Uh, you know, it's better than anything that Nintendo's putting out uh, as far as online. And, you know, their online service has its own niche with with their uh, Nintendo Switch online games and N64 and, and things like that. SNES and all that good stuff. But this right here, it's a slap in the face to anybody who owns an Xbox console. I don't I don't care who you are and how big of a of an Xbox fanboy you might be. This is not a good look from Microsoft standpoint for an Xbox player. Uh, as a platform, as as a Netflix type platform or as a name brand, they're they're moving away from from the hardware and you know PC Game Pass is the way to go. Uh, you will still be an Xbox player. You'll still get all your cool Xbox first-party games at half the price of the console gamer. Uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts and your comments are below on how Microsoft is treating their Xbox players. Uh, honestly, uh, it's it's a little concerning. If I was a Microsoft fanboy and I talked all that shit, I'd be a little upset. Um now on to other news. This news here is Nintendo related and it's uh, concerning Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So this game cannot be stopped, period. So in recent years, uh, an, argument an argument has been made about Nintendo, you know, most important franchise and it's Mario Kart for sure. Uh, there's no question that Mario Kart has surpassed Super uh, Smash Brothers, Metroid, Zelda, even like mainline Mario games. Of course, you know, you couldn't have Mario Kart without mainline Mario, but still Mario Kart is the biggest franchise that they own. Nothing else has the staying power of Mario Kart. Um, it's, it's the top seller uh, on Wii U and it made its way over to the switch as deluxe pardon me and now the news is that as it stands according to nintendo's latest financial report mario kart 8 deluxe has sold a whopping 61.97 million units let's just let's just call it 62 million units worldwide now no other game on the switch has sold that much but that's not really what's so impressive about that What's even crazier is that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe still selling, still showing up in the top 10 regularly, still in the top 20 monthly software charts worldwide. But what makes this milestone even bigger is, or more impressive, is that during its entire run on the market, combined sales of the original Nintendo Entertainment System and Famicom reached 61.91 million units worldwide. That's right. That means that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a single game, has moved more units than Nintendo's breakthrough home console of the 80s. Now, I mean, it's no surprise to see the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe surpass the total selves of platforms like the Wii U or the Virtual Boy. But when you consider how important and how far reaching the original NES was, it's wild to see Nintendo come up with a single game that blew by its total sales for life. Now, that comes from our good friends over at GoNintendo.com. I love going to their website. Go check them out. Uh, you can't even wrap your head around that number. It's gigantic when you think about it. And the game's not done selling. We still have another holiday to go. The Nintendo Switch 2 is coming up. So are they going to wrap us with a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Plus That'll be a $70 package with all the DLC included and running in ultra high definition or 4K. Nintendo is probably going to resell us this game, guys. Let's be let's be honest. And it's it's all, you know, all of this extra DLC that's included for free if you have Nintendo Switch online, by the way. They just give you these uh, these courses and extra characters and everything included. But if they want a killer app year one for the switch to let's say christmas <sighs> mario kart 8 deluxe plus all the dlc included it's a no-brainer bring it out 70 bucks and you're gonna have yourself a smash hit for the holiday well 
I just wanted guys to to touch upon some gaming news this week and uh, and get your thoughts on the matter. And hopefully, you guys will be joining myself and Chris over at the Echo Chamber and uh, subscribe on that channel as well. Um, I've got an ASMR channel as well that just hit 100 subscribers. If you guys want to go check that out, uh, it's Star Flag Media, A-S-M as in Mary, R as in Robert. And uh, as always, I am so happy you guys join me every week. I appreciate it. Hit that like, that share, that subscribe button. It is important. If you don't like something about the show, just leave a comment. Um, I will be doing these on a weekly basis. Even if the drunken idiots are not every single week anymore, you will still get my gaming news here. Um, as always, I am Anthony with Starflag Media, and I'll check you guys out next time.